Hello and welcome to my Toy Flame journey. I am Shine and this is going to be the daily drama for Monday, October 2nd. Are we, are we lined up here all right? Hold on. I want to make sure you can see. Um, what we have here is what the masculine is thinking and how we should be thinking how he feels, how he should feel, and advice for him from the universe or what chakras he might need to work on in order to manifest. Same as for the feminine. And then we have advice for both of them. I had to think for a second because I just did two other videos, the monthly and the weekly, and I have them set up a little bit different. So I was just trying to collect my thoughts. Sorry. <laughs> like, what do I have here for this one? Okay. Um, so let's go right into it. We have the Emperor. Classic. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Look at his face. This is a dude who just don't care about what nobody else has to say. Because he's the one who's in control. And he's so unimpressed, isn't he? Look at his face. <laughs> this, again, this must be him thinking he wants to gain control in this situation. And you have death. Because he wants something to transform. He's figuring out he can't stay in his stagnancy any longer. He's needing to free himself from his current circumstances and take control of his life, end things perhaps where he is, in order for this thing to transform into what he wants, which is a reunion. Let's we'll see how he should be thinking. The universe is reminding him reciprocity don't forget about this. Equal give and take. Remain balanced in your relationships should you come together and work with your Divine Feminine. Remember that it's all about equal, equal give and take. In order for this karmic wheel to turn, we've got the wheel of fortune. So things could turn in a positive direction as long as you take heed of the lessons that should have been learned. And you see things from a different perspective. You become enlightened in oneself to see the sun behind his head. And stand up for what you believe in. Stand up for what you want. This is the Seven of Wands. Gain the upper hand in this situation. And make moves. We got the Knight of Wands. This guy comes and takes action. This can also be a guy who's flighty, in or out, the Casanova. You know, comes in, makes a lot of promises, and takes off. So don't be this dude anymore, either. They want you to take action, to manifest. Don't, don't step into old patterns. Remember, equal give and take, 50-50. Come together and, and, and work together and, and change this wheel, this karmic wheel, so a new cycle can begin. Remember to gain clarity in thyself, in the situation, see things from a different perspective, Again, stand up for yourself, stand your ground, gain a higher perspective, and take action. Let us see. Let's see death. Let's see if we get any more info. Death.
Kaza from death. So maybe he's again thinking he needs to end his current living situation. Let's see, death. We have Alagraza al Quare. This is lightheartedness. This can also symbolize third parties. So maybe it's the death of one living situation and, and relationships, so the three becomes two. Or he's wanting to gain control and transform the situation so he can be reunited with the feminine. Back home together, celebrating. If this was going to flip. Amore, love, love, happiness, home, transformation. That's, that's what he's thinking about. Someone is needing some money. <laughs> we got denari, which is needing money or something that we value, or someone that we value. The emperor. Let's see what's going on with the emperor. Emperor. We got La Vecchia Signora, which is a mature lady, could be 40s, 50s, and this is also someone from our past. Dottore, lawyer, doctor, someone who can solve a problem. This also means healing. So he's wanting to take control and heal his relationship with the feminine, someone from his past. And he wants things to turn around and transform because he values her and loves her and wants to be home with her and have happy times again. And how he's feeling Oh, he's thinking marriage. <laughs> I make a commitment to a healthy relationship with God, myself, and my partner. Again, it's being committed to his spiritual path, to doing the shadow work, to healing himself, to healing this relationship. Maybe he's thinking he wants to marry the feminine again, or he's having to get out of a marriage so that he can marry the feminine. He's, neat. he's thinking he wants to take action. Today I take action related to the priorities that I have previously put off. These decisions that we haven't made, that we've been putting off, delaying. So now he's wanting to take action. Again, he's wanting to take control and heal the situation with the feminine. To be reunited with the feminine or take action in ending his current situation so he can be with the feminine. And how he should feel. Patience. I trust in divine timing. So he's got to understand too. He's going to need to be patient. In regards to. You know. Not really rushing in. Trying to. You know. It might make the feminine a little. Oh, you know too much too soon be patient because people's hearts are still healing just because someone changes their mind doesn't take away the pain that the other person has suffered the length of time that that person has suffered you know you gotta you let them get used to the idea of opening up again building trust again 
building feelings again. Because like I said, you don't view somebody in the same way once you've been dogged by them numerous times in many ways. So it's have patience in this situation. And know that you are watched over. I allow myself to feel safe and enjoy my life, knowing that heaven is watching over me and my loved ones. So don't stress. Get to know one another again. Get reacquainted. Take things slow. Slow and steady. I'll say slow and steady wins the race or something like that. And what chakra might you need to work on? What advice? They want you to have faith. And this is third eye chakra. So we're going to read that. And then you also have quest. Be ready to go on your quest. And this is throat chakra. So speaking, speaking one's truth and knowing what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> Using one's third eye knowledge. Let's see. Faith. I am more than I think I am. The legend. Peggy is terrified. She can't see past the wall in front of her, and it is preventing her from moving forward. She cries out for help. The great spirits appear and tell her that she is holding a royal purple brick, thinking it is a wall. They encourage her to place the brick back in the path and ask her not to give up on life. Peggy lowers the brick to the ground and courageously steps forward. Her future lights up. Inspirational message. What frightens you is something much smaller than you know. If you are experiencing pain, holding on tighter will only worsen the situation. Your greatness awaits. Personal inquiry. I have a tremendous amount of personal magnetism. Am I willing to allow myself to shine? <laughs> Key ideas. Narrow focus. Miracles all around. Not following wise counsel. Not accepting your gifts. Using energy in a self-defeating way. Key words are gifts, muse, and fear. So let it go and let it flow, basically. Have faith. And focus on the miracles. Use, use your, your, your wisdom and your energy wisely, not in a self-defeating way, sitting in a woes, ruminating thoughts, more thinking and, and not enough action. You know, take action, be courageous, and again, as you can see from the monthlies, I always line it up in a way where we can see what's what we're doing, like thinking and feeling, and what the universe recommends. Because what the universe recommends is more how it should be. And you can always see a contradiction between how we are behaving and how we should behave. A lot of times we're our own worst enemies. We create our own blocks because we're too much in our heads and instead of just letting stuff go and, and letting the energy work for us and not against us. So that's why I always lined it up like that. So you can see that really the things that you're fearing, they're, they're nothing to fear because the universe says go for it. See? So they want you to have faith and to go on your quest. Let's see. When I am somewhere else, my life will have meaning. So I like always, the grass is greener on the other side. And not realizing that the grass is greener where you water it. Basically. Can't run from thyself. Mrs. Patriot, the oldest woman in the town of Blue, decides she is ready to set out across the deadly swamp and walk the navy trail that no one has dared tread before. The wise youngster points out that the swamp has vanished, and the path she seeks is already before her. Mrs. Patriot sees that her life is not elsewhere, but it is here and now. As Mrs. Patriot travels home, the navy trail stretches out before her. Inspirational message, you may be on you may be on a quest that is unnecessary. Allow yourself the space for self-discovery. Personal inquiry, it is time to take a risk. Where in my life do I need to walk my talk? 
to say there's a difference between knowing the path and walking the path. Key ideas being open to wisdom, imagine dangers, commitment to your path. Keywords are courage, journey, and answers. So have the courage to embark on your journey. Be open to the wisdom of the universe trying to guide you. Be open to the wisdom of your feminine who's also trying to guide you. <laughs> and, be also, and, and, and be open to your higher self that's also trying to guide you. And allow yourself space for self-discovery. You know, and, and these, these quests that are unnecessary are these karmic cycles that you keep running to because you're not wanting to address yourself and heal yourself. So it's unnecessary suffering that you put yourself through, which the masculine has discovered. But again, this is throat chakra. So this is needing to speak and needing to get in touch with your intuition, your third eye, your higher self that's trying to guide you to have faith on your quest. And then we move to the feminine. She's thinking justice. Maybe she's getting justice in the situation. Because here he comes, offering his cup, the Knight of Cups, coming in to offer his love on his white stallion. And how she should be thinking. This is just what I described in the last video, how this is how the feminine is right now. She's like, I can't even deal. I, I've got one stick left. I'm holding on to it to deal life. I'm battle-worn, weary, tired, still recovering from the pain that was caused here, wondering if I should bother to use my last wand to take this chance. That was what was in her thoughts, I believe, in the weekly. And this is just as I described her as being battle-weary. Uh, this is someone who's defensive, you know, so they're wanting to make sure you still stand your ground and, and but don't have your defenses up too much that you're not willing to allow, you know, love in. But you're, you're this way for a reason because someone was lying, cheating, you know, could have been emotionally abusive, mentally abusive, financially abusive. Yes, twin flames can be abusive. And, and you know, not, not, I don't know about physical abuse, but the other stuff, for sure. Narcissistic kind of behaviors. But ones that hopefully can be healed and that isn't full-blown you know, narcissism, because that cannot be cured. But, you know, there's some weariness there for a reason. And it's due to this, secrets. So, they're either, they're wanting you to think, you know, you got one more fight left in you, there is things that you don't know, or embrace the unknown. Um, secrets are going to be revealed, you know, whatever that they're going to say. And then you have here the Hierophant, which could be the two of you coming together to embark on your spiritual quest. Or there could be, again, secrets being revealed about someone being married. Or maybe they're still trying to hide that, that they were married or, the, or something, and they're wanting you to be aware that they were. And then you also have the devil, which deals with codependent behaviors. So again, the secret could have been involving a marriage where someone was in it for codependent reasons. And they also want you to be aware of not allowing that codependency to happen in this situation again. To make sure that you're still kind of on your guard about karmic things repeating. And then you have here Ten of Swords, which is a very painful situation, but it's the end of a painful situation. It could be if people 
Act right. And there you have here Ace of Wands, which is to take action, manifest something, use one's creativity, and there'll be success. You got the Six of Wands and victory. So, again, recap. They're saying, you know, be on guard, but don't be too on guard. You know, somebody, somebody's coming. You might have, you got one last fight in you, and be aware that there's things that you don't know or secrets that are going to be revealed, possibly about a marriage, or they're saying that you have one last fight in you, you know, embrace the unknown, come together in union, but be wary of this devil here. Or again, it could be you're finding out that someone was in a codependent marriage for those reasons. So have things be provided. And this is going to be the end of that situation or the end of this being a painful situation with the two of you. Because there's an opportunity to manifest and have victory here. Oh, the drama, drama, drama. <laughs> and then we have signs. I watch for, notice, and trust the signs that heaven continuously sends. So this is, she's trying to hold on to this while she's holding on to her last wand. Because she's trying to go by her faith and the signs she's been getting. And she's trying to have enthusiasm. Whatever I am most passionate about is the direction I will follow. So she's trying to think positively because of the signs, despite her own reservations she might have. And there's also integrity. I trust my ability to know what is true for me. The masculine got this, I think, in the weekly. It could have been the monthly. Um, but they're wanting you to still stand in your integrity Stand in that divine feminine power. Don't step back and go into codependent stuff. Because this is going to be the test now to see if the two of you have learned the lessons. And they're wanting you to remain devoted. As I fully commit to my values, relationships, and God, I am clear about what to do next. So stand in your integrity. Have devotion. Be enthusiastic. Watch for the signs. And what you might need to work on, heart chakra, to open up again is, is hard. But we know this card. If you've watched the videos, you know this one, trickery. This is about, again, it takes two to tango and owning our part in it as well. That's the only way, if you see things from both perspectives, and from the spiritual perspective, you understand that both had things that had to be healed, both had lessons that had to be learned, and that's how you can try to use that forgiving and learning and having compassion, because you were both broken. Two broken pieces trying to be a whole, and that doesn't work. You have to be whole in yourself first, and that's what should have happened during this separation. And you have here impasse. This is sacral chakra. And this also has to do with sexuality. So if your heart is closed, most likely it's not the only thing that's closed to the masculine. Okay. So it's needing to work on the sacral chakra as well to find that sexual attraction again. And that comes from emotional attraction, love. You know, so it's needing to work on the heart and the sacral to be open to communing with the masculine in intimate ways, I should say. <laughs> Let us see. Trickery. The tempter is as guilty as a thief, see? Kelly the, dream, the green dragon has one jumbo-sized acorn to get him through winter. Squirrel spies the huge acorn and decides he, he just has to have it. 
to win the forest annual acorn co contest. To tempt Kelly, he fills a basket with rocks and scatters the tiny acorns he has collected on top. Kelly feels the weight of the basket and steals it, allowing Squirrel to grab the single acorn, but they both lose. Kelly now has less food and Squirrel is disqualified from the contest for cheating. Inspirational message. During trying times, things may seem easier if you ask for help. Don't be disappointed if assistance does not come from the place you expect. Personal inquiry. Am I afraid to tell the truth? How does that fear make me manipulate others? What do I really need to say? Key ideas. Dance of scarcity. Coveting possessions. Vulnerable heart. Self-honesty. Accusing others. Hidden motives. Keywords. Vision. Honesty. And greed. Again, seeing things from both perspectives. Can't always point the finger and accuse other people because you had a role in it too. What we allow is what we get. You know, be honest, self honesty. You know, and be vulnerable. Open your heart. Say what you need to say. Be honest. You know, be honest even in regards to your fears. When you guys speak, lay, lay it all out there. Fears, worries, expectations, lessons learned, how you really feel, how you really think, well, what your plans are, like how you'd like to proceed. You know, so it kind of gives you a little blueprint on, on how to make the next steps. Instead of jumping right in and doing things or kind of not knowing where you're going. Really have those discussions and try to figure it all out. And remember, it takes two to tango, so we have to own our roles too, ladies. And impasse. Impasse. The path is obstructed. Reroute. Reggie Rust is a guardian angel. One day, two friends, Clem and Craig, are dismayed to discover Reggie blocking their path through the mountains with no way to get around him. Wondering why Reggie wanted to stop them and not daring to try to pass, they take another route. Reggie then moves on, having protected Clem and Craig from a landslide ahead that would have claimed their lives. Inspirational message, this is a reroute, not an ending. The path is blocked and you are at an impasse, but the goal is still there. Do not wait for your present situation to change. Stay focused and find another path. Personal inquiry, how adoptable am I? Adaptable. <laughs> I'm adoptable. <laughs> uh, I'm quite adoptable, actually. Everyone loves me. <laughs> How adaptable am I? What does this card reveal about my feelings and my reaction to delays? Key ideas, change of direction, regroup and refocus, protection from harm, guardian angels, wisdom, uh, keywords, wisdom, opportunity, and surrender. So, again, this is about feminine feeling like she's at an impasse, not knowing what to do. Not, I think on the, on the weekly or the monthly, she had the judgment there, trying to figure out which path to take. It's kind of like this one. Trying to figure out which path to take. And, and know that you are protected. You're being watched over by your guardian angels. You know, they wanted you to regroup and refocus, not being all in the stresses and the worries. Understand that sometimes things are delayed or it's all about divine timing, you know, to protect us from further whatever. You know, separation needed to happen. People needed to learn and grow. And also, try to look at the end goal. And, and figure out again how to make it work. Have those discussions. You know, if a path seems obstructed, reroute. Things that didn't work before, how can you make it work? Visualize what you want to create and see yourself doing it. Think positive. And let us see what the advice is. Cancel, clear, delete. Use only positive words and thoughts as they're rapidly manifesting into form. Ask the angels to cancel the effects of past negative thinking. What didn't work in the past, you know, again, try to find another way. Clear out the old, 
delete out the old, cancel out the old. Try to make a fresh start. There we go. <laughs> parents, keep showing up. <laughs> the divine truth <laughs> is that your parents eternally love you to the best of their ability. The angels are helping you heal from any pain associated with your mother or father. You know, because it's all about healing the wounds so that you can have better relationships with yourself, most especially. Emotional sensitivity, honor and respect your deep sensitivity as it is a gift to us all. Be, be wary of one's emotions. Try to keep yourself grounded and balanced. And reach into your intuition, your crown chakra. Pay attention to your ideas as they are messages of true divine guidance sent in to answer your prayers. So listen to thy higher self. And again, have those heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Just as I said a few minutes ago, you know, you gotta open up. So there's, I mean, there'll always be surprises, but you kind of need a little bit of a blueprint in this situation so people can feel a little secure in their steps. It was all worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Just like with the impasse thing that I said there. You know, sometimes it's just it's about divine timing. Things don't work out for a reason because the two people aren't ready. And other advice was open your heart. I allow myself to feel the full range of emotions, especially all the forms of love. And I also want you both to be strong. I pull myself up and do what needs to be done. also had family. I pray for my family and give this situation over to God for answers, support, and healing. Remember that you are each other's family. You're each other's other half. You know, trying to ascend together to be home with your true family up in the higher realms. It's about reuniting your family here in the lower realms as well. And remembering that your family in heaven and the universe, your guides, they all love you. They're all rooting for you on your journey and your quest here in the lower regions. And work on forgiveness. I'm willing to release old resentments so that I may enjoy my life. Set yourself free. And have gratitude. As I notice and appreciate my blessings, I open the door to more of God's gifts. Be grateful. Be grateful even for the crap, because in the crap we find a gem, and the gem is usually within us. So something good always comes out of the bad. We just have to know how to look at it. And on that note, dears, I think we shall close out the daily drama. There will be another one the next day. There's drama every day, unfortunately. <laughs> but don't forget to check your sign. I'll put all the signs up. Check your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus, because your Venus deals with love. You'll get more messages there. If you'd like a personal reading, all the information is below. Please like, subscribe, and share if you haven't already. Um, and I'm going to be putting up the singles and separation as well as the monthly is going up and the weekly is going up. So you should have lots in your inbox tomorrow. <laughs> You'll have five new videos from My Twin Flame Journey. So until next time, dears, take care. Bye-bye.